The invasive emerald ash borer continues its assault on Indiana's tree line. Now, some forestry experts say this year could be devastating for native ash trees. RTV6 reporter Chance Walser has more on the casualties so far. The sound of a chainsaw is a bad sound. If you're a native Indiana ash tree, these days it likely means you've succumbed to the emerald ash borer infestation. We're pretty upset about it, but we knew it was coming, so. Muncie's urban forester Kelly McClellan says the invasion started around 2001. Since then, this little beetle has done mega damage to central Indiana's ash tree population. With emerald ash borer, you see these small D-shaped exit holes. The beetle burrows. Deposits a deadly larva, then leaves unapologetically. McClellan suspects 2013 will bring maximum ash tree loss for Muncie, and those who live here will notice. This spring, when the trees are supposed to leaf out, I think there'll be a lot of people surprised when their ash trees don't leaf out, or if it does, the top third of the tree might not leaf out. Efforts saw forward in Indianapolis as well. This week, some streets on the city's northeast side will be restricted while crews remove close to 500 trees. So heading into spring and summer with higher wind conditions and tornado season, it's just a responsible and a preventative measure to go ahead and remove these trees now. When you have dead wood two inches in diameter or larger falling from that height, it could kill, potentially kill someone. These beetles are slow movers, but notorious hitchhikers, experts say. So watch where you transfer pallets and other cut wood because it's up to you to limit the damage. Burn it where you buy it. Chance Walser, RTV6. The Department of Public Works says its tree removal project is expected to take about three months.